Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I'm really excited to be crafting with some things from my stash that I've had for a while and have yet to craft with. Namely, this background stamp, which is from Miss Ink Stamps, and it's really wonderful. I love it for a couple of reasons. One, it is magic themed kind of a la a series of movies that <laughs> many of us love. And uh, the other thing that I really find very unique about this stamp set is that, so unlike a lot of text um, or newsprint backgrounds, everything on this is legible actually. So you could this, these are proper little articles that are really funny. So I love that about it because a lot of times when, at least for me anyways, the other types of background stamps that I have generally are very scripty and suggestive of text, but they are not actually legible. This is actually legible. It's, it's got, um, proper you know, headlines and little, um, article sort of breaks and everything. And it, it looks, it looks like a, a real newspaper and you can read it as if it were a real newspaper. So I really love that aspect of it. It's large too. So I'm not going to end up using all of uh, the entire background. I'll actually slice this up a bit, but I love that it is so large because then you could use it for a variety of different card sizes and that's always really nice. The um, stamp is is beautiful. It is photopolymer, so really lovely. This is, I think, one of the first stamps that I have gotten from Missing Stamps and I got it because I did win a giveaway from an Instagram hop that they had. So I'm, I'm really glad that companies do that because it's such a great way if you do win a gift certificate from them to just try out their products and and so I think it's it's I you know really great that they have those every once in a while and so many companies do. I I used to like just never win anything, but I can't say that anymore cuz I've now won this. <laughs> so if you are one of those people who feels like you've never won anything, definitely throw your hat in the ring even though there are a lot of people participating in those hops. You just never know and so it's all random, so you might you might win, it might be your day one of these days. The other stamp set that I'm pulling out to use is from Your Next Stamp, another fabulous company, but sadly, this company is going out of business, and if you caught my haul video earlier, you will have seen that I got this along with several others that are not necessarily part of a collection together, but they share this theme of the periodic table and science geek sort of theme. So I really love this one because it does combine all of that geekiness with coffee, which I really geek out about. And in fact, the name of the stamp set is Java Geek. Now, I did mention that your next stamp is closing, but there's a bit of good news. They were originally thinking that they would close the shop, the online shop, on October 15th, but they've extended that to December 15th. So, or at least till, you know, well supplies, um, inventory lasts. Now, when I put my order in, I feel like there were still a lot of things in the shop that were available and just some huge discounts as well. So at this point, I don't know how much is there. I know when I shopped, there were some things on my wish list that sold out, but there were still plenty of really good deals to be had. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box below in case you're interested in checking that out for yourself. And I should mention that my video today is part of a collaboration hop that is organized by Call Me Crafty Al. This is our monthly Oso oh inspired collaboration. And this month we were all inspired by Amy's card. This is such a beautiful card and it's so simple and has such clean um, lines and a lot of white space, which I often struggle with. So I, 
am going to case her card and, um, and th I'm going to use a lot of elements that she's used as well. So just because it's been everything about it inspires me. Now, if you want to see how my teammates were inspired by the same card, just click on the hashtag OSIC Oct 2023. That should bring up a list of all of the videos that are participating in this collaboration. If for some reason that doesn't work for you, in the description box below, there'll be a link to Call Me Crafty Al's playlist, as well as all of the videos, uh, video links on this hop. The playlist might be the easiest way to watch all of the videos because then once one video ends, it will just start to play the next one. So I definitely recommend uh, popping over to Call Me Crafty Al's channel, click on that playlist tab, and you'll find the Oh So Inspired October playlist. Now, I've got all of my elements already uh, colored. I did all of that off screen, and now it's just a matter of um, gluing everything down, trying to kind of do a little bit of a dry fit here to see where everything goes, uh, or at least where I'd like for everything to go. And as you can see, I just um, trimmed down this kind of irregular cut here, which I really like the idea of just not having it be a full rectangle, but more of that trapezoid shape. I think it's something different and unusual. So I love that aspect of Amy's card. And I've got my sentiment here, which is the periodic table. And it's just got the periodic elements that spell out the word coffee. And I added to it the additional sentiment, need I say more, which I love. And I know the magic theme really has nothing to do with coffee, but it's two things that I geek out about, the that particular movie series and coffee. So it also is a little bit, for me, reminiscent of the idea of, you know, drinking your coffee while reading a newspaper. So I thought in that way, the two kind of go together. And if Amy's card has inspired you to create, I hope you'll play along with us. And if you do um, make anything, it doesn't have to be a card. If you make any project where you've been inspired by Amy's original card, and um, if you share that out to social media, please do add the hashtag, I was oh so inspired. That way we all can see what you've created and what you took as inspiration from Amy's card. That's one of the things that I really love about popping, uh, hopping around and checking out everybody's video because even though we all had the same inspiration piece to work from, I always really enjoy seeing what element everyone took away and how that inspired them in their project. So I hope that if you are a regular viewer of mine that you'll consider hopping along and checking out some of the other designers. Being part of collaborations is wonderful in that way because it's really great to um, help you kind of circulate our viewers so that they get to meet different designers and check out channels that they may not already be fans of. If you are new to my channel, welcome and thanks for hopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video of mine. And if you did, I hope you'll consider leaving me a like, a comment. And if you want to see more videos that I put out, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel as well and ringing that notification bell so you get an alert whenever I post new content to my channel. Thank you so much, and until next time, happy crafting, and have a fabulous day. Bye!